Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET and uh, this is the sixth video tutorial of ERP system hospital management system. And in this video, just I want to show a hospital name instead of a hospital ID at here in the room section. And after the room section, that is the similar with the contact section because you know that a uh, a hospital have multiple contents con contacts. So one to many mapping is there similarly with the rooms so uh, just i want to uh, show first of all uh, ho hospital name instead of hospital id so you can see first of all index page uh, of the rooms there is index.cshtml and here you can see that hospital info uh, id so just i want to uh, take uh, hospital uh, that is the name uh, there is a no exist in the view model so first of all add the view model and uh, after update some properties in the view model section uh, also uh, get by in the service class in the get all method that is include properties uh, that is the grade sorry uh, that is the hospital you can say so this is the thing you can do yourself so check this property in the first of all add this property in the view uh, room view model that is hospital info hospital info and similarly all So here you can add include properties uh, like hospital so add include properties and the name is hospital where your model class exists in the room section so just you can see in the uh, room uh, model and where you can see that is the name that is the hospital so after that uh, you can fast the records and uh, just do this okay so you can add this hospital info dot name okay Now the similar thing is with the room controller so just add, uh, um, with the contacts so just add and you can say that just copy and the paste of the room controller uh, for the co uh, for the contact so similar with the room controller 
so add a new uh, just copy for the room controller and paste inside the same directory that is the controller and just rename it with the contacts and change some uh, information in the contacts also so you can do it yourself
the next class you can add in the project that is the timing class and in which you can add some properties like uh, date uh, uh, day shift time uh, and afternoon shift end time and afternoon shift start time and afternoon shift end time also you can take uh, the doctor id as well so similarly you can take these parameter in the timing class